that looks pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, that like we, well, that looks interesting. That looks interesting. I still I'm very torn with what class I want to play in DD2. Oh hi YouTube, we're back. Hi, we just watched a DD2 video. I think it's probably somewhere else on my YouTube if you want to check that out. Um, yeah, if we could let Red know to pop that in, like I think we have a Dragon's Dogma 2 playlist or something. If we can pop that in there, that'd be great. But uh, yeah, that looks like a fun class. I I do like creative classes. Also, I like when cars sink into the ground slowly. Pop. Um, but yeah. I, I'm I'm definitely looking at the spear caster class though. Oh man. I I saw that class and was just kind of like, how can I play anything else? What's that thing called again? It's called like the um. I don't even remember. But the thing that sold that class, the mystic spear hand, the thing that sold me on that class, like a hundred percent, is in one of the previews of the Mystic Spearhand, it shows him warping to the enemy. And if you can warp to like a flying enemy and get some hits in before you hit the ground, like that that solves, I mean, that would be, a, if you could warp to like the head of a troll or something, like I'm, I'm very, very curious how that's gonna work because that would be awesome. That would be the business if you could like warp around and do that stuff. God, our car looks so good. Uh, okay. Let's repair this thing up and then get out of here. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching that with me. Always fun. Yeah, I can't wait for DD2, dude. I, especially after playing DD1, which I'm so glad we did. That was, uh, that was a really good time. Very, very excited for DD2. Hey, Run, what's up, buddy? Replace panel with steels? I think we need more steel plates. Let's take a look here. I'm gonna repair this up because I think I'll, if we do make any steel, I'll, I'll replace it instead of uh, breaking it down. Headlight. Did that do it? No, it didn't do it. What am I missing? Oh, Mystic Spearhand has a Darth Maul vibe to it. It does. I agree. Agreed. Steel panel needs steel sheets. Steel sheets need... Oh, just scrap? No, we don't have the door yet. Oh no, did I make two? I think I made too many of these. Ah, uh, maybe not. The door looks so nice. That'd be great. Yep. Thank you, bud. Good. We need steel door now. I don't think we have enough for that yet. Let's uh, put you in here. Great. 
Okay. Chatterino Bambino, we are ready. Let's go. Does it matter if I bring the road flares? You know what? I'm going to bring some road flares. I'm going to bring three road flares. What's even the point of road flares, dude? Uh, I thought I had some in here. Do I not? They stare me in the face, chat. Oh, the cargo box. You got it. Thanks, chat. Amphel with the 25 months. Thank you, Amphel. Oh, the hood is a panel and your trunk's open? Oh, yeah, there's one. Good, we'll play something and get back. Talon with a 33. Thank you, buddy. Oh, do we have to go here first? I can't go here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, my hood is already steel. Oh, fantastic. Wait, this is a different... of all the stories that have spawned in the zone. <laughs> Trust me, there are so many. Remnants, one of the best. I'll start from the beginning. <clears throat> in 1964, strange objects began appearing throughout the zone. They were uh, shabby, cast off things that were imbued with strange properties. Uh, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it. A rusty can of paint that produced every color in existence. Always so out of place that people were irresistibly drawn to them. Yeah, you know, like a mysterious car in the forest, right? Hmm. They're definitely cutting down the steel stuff. Adra fuel tanker. Oh. Tobias mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people, like the cars done with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions always started innocently. A, a sudden interest in model train sets or collecting old road signs. The objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties, but what didn't in the zone, right? That in itself wasn't cause for alarm. But these fixations would only grow worse until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun, but better to know what you're up against. Could the remnant's victims still be out there somewhere? I mean, we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. Anyway, it's been 20 years since the last remnant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Until you found the car. Does this give us steel? Yeah, it does. I wonder if you're already feeling the remnants effects, driver. 
Have you been fixating on the car, maybe? If only we knew where the weapons came from. Then we'd have a place to start on how to help you. This is no typical anomaly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawly, and weird. Like visible manifestations. The remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. bumper. Um, can we just break this down? Can I break this down? In my... Oh, Lord. Game is so weird. I'm I'm totally digging it, but it's so weird. <laughs> hey man, P, what's up, buddy? Is the environment destructible? I guess it has to be. I brought some med kits. I think I did. Oh no, is my thing dead? It totally is. I need a gas cylinder and two gears. Gas cylinder might be a little tough. I don't know what this thermo sap crystal is, but I want all of it. I think that's fair. This game looking good. This game's looking awesome so far. Yep. Mm. Thanks, Red. demonstration is the only physical proof we ever see of it. Compared to the Manhattan Project, developed under airtight shroud of secrecy, why was Lynn parading around in the papers? And if it really was the technological quantum leap to answer all our wildest dreams, why did it blink out of existence? The story of Lynn technology is one hell of a maze, and the key to it is a woman named Dr. Ophelia Turner. 
Did Ophelia Turner, by all measure a failed physicist as far as her public record goes, truly invent limb technology? Or was she held up as a Rosie the Riveter for the Cold War? An atomic Annie to excite the masses during the no-holds-barred race against the Soviet Union? Was she a myth, martyr, or monster? A figment of the imagination? True savior? Or a convenient scapegoat? I'm Chiaki Sarahashi, and in this nine-part series, I aim to find out. I'm pretty sure that's Erika Ishii. Is that her? I need some food. Hey, sir. Okay. She has a pretty unique voice. Um, I don't have any food. Hmm. Yeah, we need to, like, raid some houses and get some food. The radiation's killing me. I know, I know. I don't know why Drop Pro is not disappearing. Oh, Neo Twitch, we, we have, no, we have not canceled. I haven't even, I can't cancel if I haven't announced anything, bro. Come on now. All right, we are dying here. Um, let's go. We gotta go down to this, these towns. These little houses. Then again, I don't, I don't make good ideas around here to use your parts. Mm -hmm. Son of Biscuit. We got this. We got this. actually working a lot better than I thought it would. Okay. It is so dark and I am so startled. I am so startled. tire oh no rude these big uh, doors here generally mean that they are locked completely no interior Should have brought some med kit. I think there was like another house right. Yeah, right here. Hey, skills. Oh no. Um. Gold paint. I'm losing life, so we gotta move quick. bit of life back but not too much we still didn't get any uh, of the stuff we need to make our tool again our pneumatic hammer which I'm pretty sad about Ooh, steel doors this guy here so liking the game he is definitely definitely enjoying the game I 
that it? Nope, there we go. Okay. What is this? Zone motors and you? Use the road respectively. Okay. Cool. Well, that's what that squeaking was. That was for those on from that off. There we go. Alright, so how am I getting back to the road? It looks like we can go to the right. Get back on that way, then head south. What is this circle? Is this moving throughout the zone? has an incline alarm? My card. Oh. Circle might be a radiation zone? Maybe. There was a circle in the top right we were driving to, and then we got close and it disappeared. I'm not entirely sure what it means. to break these open, unfortunately. What's with all these things? Wood. Oh, that happened. Huh. <clears throat> yep, that happened. Messed my car up. Look at that. Nope, no, no, not. Found a flashlight. Kind of. Is the drop throw thing a bug? It is.
bad gateway area proceed. Wait, what? Do I go this way now? This way. Okay. have lived in a barn. I do live in a barn. Yes. to think about this place ever again. Edor Town, Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. Ugh, we're stuck until we verify Tobias's remnant theory, so get to Sierra. driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? You want to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. We gotta find a flashlight, my lord. This is horrible. Yeah, I don't know when the game gives you a flashlight, but they should definitely bump it up to much earlier. Why do I never use flares? Because flares, man. Obviously. use consumable resources for any purpose ever. I need to save them for the final boss fight. Because I will lose if I don't. Fine, though. I'll try when you're damned. Uh, let's see how long they last, too. Lim lies. That is the straightest spray paint person I've ever seen in my life. Look at those, look at those perfect lines. Absolutely perfect. He used a ruler? I believe that. Wow, that was it, huh? That's my flare. Cool, cool, cool. 
turns things into rubber. Hmm. Okay. We're good. Hey, Luffy, good morning. Oh, wait, what is, let's see what this does. Rider Knights. Oh. That is so much better. Okay. Great. Hope y'all don't mind. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. Is that cheating? Yes. Yes, it is. Beep, beep. spikes that Colossal Cappy is still giving off after all these years. Uh, to achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but oppie has got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This isn't about sides. It's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. For all I care, they can lay down and wait until the instability takes them. That would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. That is a lot of shenanigans. But I love shenanigans. I do. Bring cosmetic items back to the garage to equip them. Oh, is it the gold paint? Gateway to float. I don't know what that means. Link to gateway.
<laughs> well, damn. The car was last pinged at. Huh? You're back at the garage. How could that be? Oh, the car got you back somehow. Very, very interesting. I'll have to observe this further. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll do more of this tomorrow. Well, this is an awesome game, and we clearly have a lot more to do in it. So we're going to be playing this tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. ET. Hope to see you here. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. What I got to do for now is go get some lunch. I'll be back in just a little bit for some Rogue Trader this afternoon, and then we'll do something fun tonight, too. So we got lots of fun stuff coming up. Hope you join us for it. Should be good. As for now, we are going to go ahead and raid over to Pasco on my, on my other channel. If you want to hang out with the community and watch with them until I get back from lunch, we'll raid back here when I'm back. And uh, yeah, that'd be good. All right, friendos, thank you so much for being here. Back soon. Bye-bye.